Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be making meatballs in tomato sauce. Um, I'm gonna be slow cooking that and using the blade cover. So if you had your eye on one of these or you just recently bought one from the mix shop, I'm gonna show you how to use it today. Um, and yeah, we're gonna slow cook those meatballs too. So you'll see that mode in action. But let's grab the recipe because it is a cookie do recipe. I'm just gonna go into that and do a search for meatballs. So there's a few different meatball recipes, but what I'm doing is meatballs in tomato sauce, the TM6 version. So TM5 people, don't worry, there is a version on there for you as well. So start cooking. Now, what we're going to do first is chop up some Parmesan cheese. So I've bought a block of Parmesan cheese and I've just cut it up into cubes. We only need 60 grams for this recipe. Um, so I'll chuck all that in. However, what you could do is just um, chop up the whole block and put the rest in your fridge. Sprinkle on top of your meatballs at the end perhaps um, and then just um, leave 60 grams in the bowl. One garlic clove. And pop the lid on. So this is going to chop for eight seconds on speed eight. cheaper than buying it grated. It's also it doesn't have all the additives and fillers. So there it is, all grated in there with the garlic clove. So now what we'll do, uh, and it's asking for 300 grams of beef mince and 300 grams of pork mince. Now I'm only using beef mince today and I've actually got more than 600 grams so I am just going to chuck it all in. Unless you go to a butcher, you can't buy the exact amount. Oh, breadcrumbs. Jump the gun, putting the lid on. So I've made my own breadcrumbs too. I, um, whenever we have bread, you know, instead of throwing it in the bin, I usually chop it up and pop it in the freezer. So then I blitz my breadcrumbs from frozen bread. So it's not as soft. Um, so you get a more finer breadcrumb. So I've, I should have videoed doing that because I just did that before while I was prepping. So pop the breadcrumbs in. Quarter of a teaspoon of dried basil, some dried sage, some dried oregano, some salt and some pepper. So I've got all of that already in there. So I'll just chuck all that in. Yeah, it hasn't asked me to, but I'm gonna add a little bit of stock paste anyway, just for you know. Bit of extra flavour. I'll put the lid on and we're just going to mix all that up. So you can see those breadcrumbs and um, parmesans all mixed through. And make sure because I just because I put a bit extra in there, I just want to make sure it has it all mixed up. Yeah. Okay, so now the fun part: making the meatballs. wedding rings off. So if you didn't tell, I'm being sarcastic when I say the fun part. This is uh, called loving my children and making them meatballs. So I'm just gonna roll them up and put them in there. Could 
could use a spoon and just scoop it if you wanted to, if you're a silk and didn't want to touch it like me. So you can roll them as big or as small as you want. It says to do it um, into approximately 30 grams. Let me tap that. Go to scales. I'm just playing one. Oh, there you go. Oh, jump. Whoops, that was um, 31 grams. So I'm doing pretty good here. Anyway, I'm not going to make you watch me roll all these meatballs. So I'll come back and show you when they're done. Okay, they're all done. I was counting them, but I lost count, so I'm not sure how many I've got. But we'll um, tap on now with the sauce. So, it's asking for 20 grams of olive oil. So I'm gonna weigh that in. And then, oops, I just read a step while I was, um, Tracking. So it's three garlic cloves. Cut in half. Got to cut them in half. I'm a bit of a point follower when it comes to recipes. Um, so heat on. And they're going to cook now for three minutes. I'll come back and show you when they're done. Okay, that's done. Smelling amazing. Can't go wrong with garlic. Now we're going to put in um, a brown onion cut into wedges. So just wedges like that. Next, now we are going to put on a splash guard. So take your measuring cup out, pop your splash guard on, and that is going to cook on high heat for six minutes. So the splash guard's there to keep you safe, so nothing's going to come out of your thermomix because this will get to 160 degrees when it's accessing high heat. So this is going to act like a fry pan caramelizing your onions. I will brown in your onions. So if you listen, it stopped spinning and it's coming up to heat. I'm not sure if you can hear the sizzle, but it is sizzling. So it spins and it stops for a little while, gets a little bit of color on the onions, then it has a little spin. So like you would be standing in a fry pan stirring, but you can walk away now and stop the kids from biting each other or whatever it is you need to do for six minutes until you come back and do the next step. So I'll see you then. Okay, that's done. So, let me show you what's been going on in here. See, they're all ground up. Now, we're gonna put the lid back on. And, oops, dripped on my screen. And now we're gonna chop those onions. transfer into a bowl. I'm just going to sit them aside and grab my thermomix bowl. Tap strip in there. Um, now we're going to insert the blade cover. So there is even a little video on the screen to show you how to do that. So it's a little bit like your um, butterfly whisk and it just sits on top of the blade 
Now we're going to add all our stuff for our sauce. So I've got two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. You can actually make that yourself. Um, that is a homemade Worcestershire sauce made by my brother-in-law, not me. 50 grams of red wine. A little bit for the Thermomix, a little bit for you. While it's taken care of cooking, you can have a glass of whatever you like. Um, 800 grams of chopped tomatoes. Tomatoes, you can make all sorts of tomato based things, tomato paste, fasada, all that kind of stuff. Two teaspoons of chicken stock paste. Now, I just use vegetable stock paste for everything. So you can make a chicken stock paste, you can make a meat stock paste, but whenever it asks for any kind of stock paste, I just use vegetable. We've got um, a little bit of sugar, some oregano, one to two pinches of salt. Now, what is a pinch? I need more precise measurements than that, but I've actually used um, some mushroom salt that I made last week and some ground pepper. Chuck all that in. And then we're going to pop these onions and garlic. Into here. So the reason it's um, putting it into another bowl is so those onions are on top of the blade cover and not underneath it. Cook for three hours. So it's 2.30 now. Um, so dinner will be ready about 5.30. So winning at mum life today. Um, I'll check back in with you then and show you the finished product. See ya. Okay, well, three hours is up. I've just got back from picking Freddie up from daycare and dinner's ready. All I've got to do now is cook some pasta make a little salad. Um, oh, I've also made some pizza dough. So I'll make a garlic pizza to go with it. And hopefully everybody's happy. So I'll show you. Look at all of that. So much meat, more goodness. Now, see if I can pull this into my thermo circle without spilling it. Here we go, splash. See how they've all held their shape?
there you have it meatballs in tomato sauce slow cooked in the tm6 let me know if you give it a try see ya